Hey guys, this is Mr. Wickmore, and I'm going to do, hopefully, uh, show you a quick video on the fix of how to get your pictures in order on the timeline. To start with, let's talk just a little bit about what bins are. Bins are really folders, and you can either right click here and make create a new bin, or you can click this little folder to create a new bin. I'm going to make one called Day One. You can make as many bins as you want, but you want to make sure that you import pictures to that folder. So I'm going to double click this folder to open it. Once it's open, we're ready to import some pictures. I'm going to click on file. I'm going to click on import. And I have a big batch of pictures on the desktop. Um, they are called JPEG one. And you'll know, and I'm noticed that I am importing from a JPEG folder. Okay. These particular pictures are numbered from one, as you can see, all the way down to the bottom to 143. So they automatically do that in order. I'm gonna click on the first one and go Control A, selecting all the pictures and click Open. Once they're imported into the bin, you will notice that they are in order, 132, 133, 134. If they're not in order, you can click on this little button right here, which will allow you to change the order. Okay, notice that they're now in perfect order. All right, if you click on name, it's it swaps them into the wrong order. Not wrong, but backwards. I'm gonna click on it again, and they're back in the correct order. Now here's the trick. You have to click off, and then you have to click back on, and then you have to scroll down. You have to hold down shift, and then drag them down. Now, don't ask me why that matters, but it does. If you don't do that, they will be out of order on the timeline. So remember, after they get into Premiere, into your bin, make sure they're in order, okay? And then click off and click back on by clicking the first one, shift, click the last one. Drag them down the timeline. And to check to see if they're in order, of course, you can just watch it, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and see what my numbers are. One, two, three, four, five. You'll notice now we have a problem, and that is that our pictures are upside down. Okay, I told you this was going to be a problem, okay, because um, that is what we did. We shot our pictures upside down. So under video effects, you're going to apply two effects. It is under transform. The first one is called vertical flip. If you highlight everything on the timeline, and you drag vertical flip and let go, it will flip it upside down. Notice that it is now the correct way. Okay, the problem is it is inverted. So now we're simply gonna take the horizontal flip and add it as well and let go. And notice that now we have it in perfect order. Now, students ask, hey, my whole animation is too fast or too slow. I don't like the way it is. Easy fix for that, okay? The easy fix for that is after you add day one, we're gonna add day two and then day three and then day four. Then if you went file, export, you know how to do that now, and you exported it, and then you imported that video again, you can actually go right click, speed duration, and right here you can slow it down or speed it up. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit later during class. But for right now, that is the workaround to make sure everything is in nice order. Put each thing in a bin. Okay, if you look at mine, I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I'm going to collapse day one. I'm going to click the folder. Of course, I'm going to call this one. Take a guess. You got it. Day two. I'm going to double click day two. File. Import. I'm gonna to go to my next batch of pictures, which are on the desktop. I'm only importing from JPEG. Click on the first one, control A, open. Okay, remember you have to see if they're in order. They are 76, 77, 78. I'm gonna click off, scroll up to the top one, click on the first one, scroll down, shift click the last one, drag them to the timeline. Oops, I missed it. Let's try that again. Click, shift, click the last one. I put my mouse on the little button here. And if we zoom in, that should be in order. 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, pretty good. I hope that hel helps things. If you have any other questions, uh, watch the video a couple of times. Remember, we have to add this both times. I'm going to add it once, and I'm going to add the horizontal, and we should have what we need. Own your learning, guys. That is all. Thank you. Have a nice day.